I'm Jennifer Angel of these are your stars Aquarius. Now there's a lot of activity happening in your solar fourth house right now. So last week we had the solar eclipse. In fact, we're in the middle of eclipse energy at the moment. So there's quite a lot going on. There's a lot of in intense energy right now so uh, of course it affects everybody's life you know in a different house so it's a different area of your life so for you it's your solar fourth house Aquarius so um, also along with the solar eclipse last week it was uh, Mars and communication planet Mercury were also conjunct with the moon just to give it a little bit of extra zing um, so Mars can just make you be a little bit um, rash and of course Mercury being communica communication so it can cause you to overreact a little bit so if that happened last week you really have a chance now this week to sort of straighten that out and sometimes it's just needed you know when we have aspects like this it's almost like it gives us the uh, opportunity or the uh, extra push for us to deal with things that that uh, have been um, sitting there and are well overdue to be dealt with. So you know, sometimes you just have to um, you know get things head on, and that's what an eclipse and Mars energy can help you do. In this case with Mercury there as well then it's centered around communication and how you communicate is very important. Now this week there are two squares with um, Neptune, one with Mercury and one with Venus. So Venus square Neptune early in the week on the Monday and Mercury square Neptune later in the week on the 18th on the weekend. Now um, Neptune is in your solar second house. So this is all to do with money, possessions, uh, and can also, um, you know, to be to do with around relationships and intimate relationships. So certainly at the start of the week, when Venus is squares Neptune, Venus is going to be in your fifth house another personal area of your chart you want to be careful of anything to do with finances and money to do with your sweetheart your nearest and dearest or or um, even around family members and the way that you deal with it be careful and mindful of what you set in place now needs to be right for the future so try not to make any rash decisions make sure they're calculated and and thought through so you don't feel like you want to go back with them and change it later on um, and later on in the week when mercury will move into your solar fifth house so same thing there um, all right so it's a progressive time coming up for you, um, Aquarius, and although a lot of your focus has been on your home, domestic, and around your family, that is starting to move. Now, and it's going to move into a more personal area, and what what the changes and things that you do now are going to really come to fruition and fall into place and settle down, and you'll see how they serve you more towards the end of May, okay, and that right in that last week around the 27th, 28th. Next week we're going to have the, another one of the Uranus-Pluto squares. It's an exact hit. It's seven of them over a um, three-year period, and we're coming up to the middle one. Uh, now this is always a confronting time. It's a, it's a fairly confronting square, can be challenging. For you, it's going to be in your solar third house, can be around siblings, and, uh, communication, media. Um, but we'll talk more about that in depth next week. Okay, so for this week, have a great time. Get things sorted out with your family. Watch any dealings that are to do with money. Make sure that you, you don't overreact and... Um, you know, make sure the decisions that you make are going to take you into the future, not just for now. Love and luck to you. Look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.